Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to bring another product to our product design model list. Today, we're going to make this bottle. Let's start by bringing the reference to the 3ds Max. The download link is in the video description. Let's create a line to start the modeling. We enable the viewports view and set the value to 15 for the thickness. Now we convert it to editable poly. We are going to insert a loop at the top in the face mode. We are going to separate half of the cylinder. We position it on the other side and adjust the vertices so that they match to the reference. We can delete this face. Again, with insert, we add a new loop and with the bridge, we create a new face between the ads. Once that is done, we are going to add a circle to create the curvature of the model. Disable rendering in the viewport and create the circle. In interpolation, set the value to 2. We returning to the model and with the add selected, we will extrude by holding down the shift key to create a new face following the curvature of the circle. I enable snap to align the edges with the vertices of the circle. At the top, we start using rotate to create the curvature correctly. Here, I will align the edges on the x-axis and extrude the edges for the last time. Now, we target weld, we weld the vertices. We use snapping to align this tool on the x-axis. Let's add support loops and use bridge to create a new face between the lines. Add a loop in the center and use the target weld to weld the vertices. Once that is done, we can close the space using cap and then use the connect tools to fill the shape. Now that we have finished these parts, we use the circle to create the cuts in the mesh. Add a shell to give thickness to the circles. Let's make sure it goes through the entire model. We use the boolean modifier in the subtract option to create the cuts. We convert it to editable poly and now we adjust the mesh. We remove some adds and vertices that they will want to use. Using target welds, we weld the vertices correctly. Let's repeat the process around the entire hole. Here, we can remove this entire edge and weld the lower vertices with target weld. Once that is done, we will adjust the mesh to distribute it better around the road. Now we can add symmetry to mirror the shape and adjust this part, creating a smooth curvature. I will remove the edges and connect it to this other vertex. We use symmetry again and now we will create the lower part of the model. It's very simple, just extrude the edges while holding down the shift key and following your reference. We will close the hole with the cap and again using the connect tool, we will connect the points and finally with the cuts, we will connect the vertices. Mm -hmm. 
apply a chamfer to the edge of the border to keep in the heart. Returning to the hole we created, select the face of its interior and holding down the shift key extrude inward with the scale. Take advantage and refine this edge since it's a little far away, always following the reference. To create the interior detail, we use the cut tool to create a new edge on this face. Let's do the same on the bottom. Now we can delete this face between the detail we created since we will not use them. Select the new face created and with the bridge we will connect the face. Delete the bottom parts and with the cap we will close the space. We will insert two loops and with the connects we will fill the shape. Select the edge and drag it a little forward. On the sides, we will add a loop to connect with the detail. Again, with the vertex connect. We can delete this face from the center and apply on symmetry. I will select the edge and position it a little downward following the axis of the edge. To finish this part of the model, we will apply a chamfer to the edge. Now let's go to the upper part. Select the face in hole and down shift K to extrude upwards. In add mode, select the entire loop and apply an extrude. Adjust the size and width. And finally apply the chamfer to the edge. To create the beak, select the face and apply an inset. Adjust according to the reference and again holding down the shift and extrude upward. Using Quick Slice tool, we create a new edge on the diagonal of the model. Remove the desired area from the selection and with the control backspace remove the rest of the edge. Now, we can delete this face and adjust the upper parts with the target weld. We'll close the hole with the cap. With connects and cuts, we'll fill the shape. Again, with the insets, we'll extrude the upper detail. By holding down the shift key and drag downwards, I will create the hole. Use the alignment on the Y axis and apply a chamfer to the edge to keep it in heart. Now we will select this face and use the detach key to separate them to use it on the model's lid. Let's return to this edge and apply a chamfer, this time larger, and then the chamfer on the previous edge. With the face we separated, we apply a shell and adjust it following the reference. We will delete its interior since we don't need it. Position the base correctly. The upper face will be deleted and create a new one by holding down the shift key and extruding with the scale. Finally, using the collapse to close the shape. On the edge of the borders, we apply a chamfer to create the curvature. Add support loops at the base and the middle of the model. Finally, add a shell to give thickness to the leads and a modifier to soften the shape. Let's apply the same modifier to the model. Here, I believe that the shape of the model seems to be rounded at the front. To create this effect, let's select the entire model and add the FFZ modifier. Select the middle of the model and adjust with the scale on the Y axis. And that's it. The model is finished. I hope you enjoy the content. 
See you in next time. Bye.